Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Crystal Barrett's May I Scrap Lift You. And the creative scrapbooker that I'm lifting today is Sandra Lee. And on Instagram, her handle is at scrappygal13. And this is the layout that I picked to lift, and it's so cute. I will have a little more on my page because y'all know I like more. But you can tell where I got my inspiration. And I am going to scrap this photo of my granddaughters. And since it's fall, I'm going to be using Simple Stories, Country Harvest, and uh, scraps. <laughs> I'm going to be using scraps. For my background, she had mixed media in her background, so I'm going to have mixed media too. I'm going to use that carved pumpkin there that Debbie gave me. It's such a pretty orange, and it matches the orange in the collection, too. And then I'm going to use some speckled egg. I'm going to use more orange than the speckled egg, but I still am going to use some. And it looks like I'm putting it in all the places that I plan on putting papers. Well, that's because some of my papers are shorter than others because I did use scraps. And I thought there might be gaps. I wasn't 100% sure on that. So I wanted to make sure some of this mixed media could peek through the speckled egg though I'm going to go around the edges a little more and so it it may show up that way besides the um, uh, packaging with the speckled egg I'm using this reverse uh, chicken wire dye, uh, dye it's not a dye <laughs> stencil from crafters workshop and like I said I'm going to try to have it where it's peeking out from underneath what I'm actually going to put on the layout Sandra's uh, layout is Christmas and it has a little gnome or two on there and I was tempted to do Christmas then because you know I have that photo play paper that has gnomes but I ran across this photo and decided I had to scrap it instead as you can see not all my papers are the same length uh, they, the short ones don't even match the short ones I mean they're a little bit different Whatever size my scrap was, I went ahead and used it. I'm going to kind of lay them on here. How I think they need to go. And, well, need to go. I want them to go. They don't need to go anyway. But you can see where the gaps come in. And I thought there might even be more mixed media showing than this. But that's okay. I, I'm fine. I'm <laughs> fine with it having it show up where it does show up. I am poking holes in it because guess what? I'm going to sew on this layout. I'm going to sew a line down the middle of each one of those strips there. And I wanted to put them on there first because, you know, I'm kind of a lazy <laughs> stitcher, if I think ahead, that is. And I'm just going to put it where you can see it, not all the way down. But in that picture frame, the cutest. I actually cut the photo out in a circle and was planning on layering it like Sandra did. But then when I pulled this collection out, I, I had forgotten about the frames. And I seen this one, I thought, oh, I've got to use it instead. Well, I had to kind of slide it up because I wanted the arms of Reagan and the hands of both of them to show because she has her arms around Charlie and their hands are together. And it barely shows because I had to leave a little bit for the um, frame to glue to it. But it worked. I got it to work. I had to trim some off the top, but it worked. Um, I was debating here on the title. I thought, well, I'm not going to go ahead and use fall, but I will. <laughs> I'm going to change my mind once I get the colorful down there. And because the more I looked at it, I thought, yeah, I think it would nestle right underneath the color part of that and beside the bottom of the F coming down there. And looking at it too I thought I gotta put some ink on here so I put some of the terracotta on it and on the colorful too there was like three different foam stickers on that phrase sheet you know for the titles and I thought well I'm just gonna put them all on the same layout so I am inking them too and I am going to put them around my photo frame well I think one ends up underneath the fall the word fall instead but while I'm doing that I want to mention that down there below there's a playlist for the May I scrap lift you so all you have to do is click on it and 
watch the videos. Lots and lots of inspiration. And since it's May, I scrap lift you. It will not be everybody doing the same sketch or lift. They will be able to pick whichever one they want from uh, the scrapper's Instagram account generally because it's kind of hard to get them off the YouTube and maybe even scrapbook.com on a couple. But yeah, different places that they post them so that they could find them to scrap. That burlap is paper. It is paper. I use my A2 size die that's a burlap die. I have one that is a slimline card so it's much bigger. But I used the A2 one on this because I thought it could maybe snuggle up against my photo. And I cut it out in kind of like a real light tan. Maybe even, well, tan I guess would be the word for it. But I wanted to have other colors on it. So I inked it with the terracotta and also some of the tea dye ink. And... I didn't want it to lay flat there. I wanted to give it some texture. I might have covered all the texture up when I was done. But I wanted to have some there anyway. Well, you can see a little bit if you're looking at the photo. Straight at the photo. Uh, but yeah, I scrunched it up and glued it down that way. I am going to make a cluster on the right-hand side of the photo. And I'm going to, I thought I was going to just bring it down a little farther, but I'm going to end up making another little cluster right below the photo and kind of spread it out just a little bit. I am cutting these two leaves apart because I want them to have more dimension. So I put foam tape under the lighter colored one and then the other one is going to be glued straight down to the burlap just so it looks like. I've got two leaves laying there, two full leaves laying there, instead of one little uh, die cut. Now, this uh, die cut that I just put on there, it had foam tape and stuff on it already, and it was inked. I kind of think maybe some rusty hen, but I'm not sure. I mean, it just has a little bit of ink, so it's kind of hard to tell. But it was left over from another layout. And I thought, well, I'm just going to go ahead and use it on here. And... Oh, I was looking at the stickers. I wanted to pull one out and put it on a label, but uh, it um, the labels, you know, they're really, really thin because of the stickers, so I will put cardstock behind it. But here's where I changed my mind on the label. I was planning on tucking it up there, but then I thought, well, where am I going to put the butterfly? If I put it down a little lower, I thought it looked Kind of funny and out of place all by itself down there. So I decided to go ahead and move the label down and put it on the label. It looked like it landed there. I am putting foam tape behind the wings of all three butterflies and then uh, liquid glue in the center and help hold them down. When I was looking at my little odds and ends over in the tray, I noticed these three leaves. Uh, what did I fussy cut them out for? I couldn't remember, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and use them before they get lost because they're pretty small. And so I thought I'd let them tumble down uh, where the other leaves are at. Those leaves are bigger. I thought they could tumble down from there like they fell out because they were small. I Well, I, I'm finishing off the butterflies and I think, no, I will not be done. I am going to add some enamel dots. She had enamel dots on her layout, so I remember that and thought I'd go ahead and add them. And I am using, well, it has two colors of orange on that sheet, and those are Gina Marie uh, Designs ones. And I am using the one that has a more yellow tinge than orange. And then I'm going to pull out my EK Success uh, punch for a branch, and I'm going to punch a few of them out and cut them apart, make a few pieces smaller and put them on the layout. And I picked a paper where one side looked more like the frame than the other, and I picked one that looked like it was a similar color of brown, but it was a lighter shade, and so I'm using it to just tuck in here and there. So, oh, and you will notice <laughs> at the end of the video where the close-ups are, well, I took the pictures twice. I took them, and then I brought the layout in here to do the photo editing. <laughs> and I thought, man, it looks flat. 
So I went back in there and added little tiny pieces of foam tape to the corners of each one of those papers. And that way they wouldn't be so flat against the paper because I, I thought they needed a little more dimension. Like I don't have enough dimension everywhere else. But yeah, I added them. And oh yeah, I did add some splatters of that carved pumpkin also. But yeah, that's it. That's my layout. And I had a lot of fun making it. I had a lot of fun scrolling through uh, her layouts to pick it out too. And uh, yeah, see mine looks bigger compared to hers up in the left hand corner. Because yeah, I went more from one corner to the other on my layout. I covered more ground. Uh, but uh, there's my burlap uh, die cut. And yeah, I love those dies. I just don't even get to use them often enough. And uh, there's the, well, the branch. That, that one is a full branch. The others I cut apart. And those tickets, I'm not sure if they go in this collection or not, but they were laying there and I used them. And there's my title. But if y'all leave a comment down there below, I'll try to get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And OCRER, thank you so very much. And thank you all for watching my video today. I appreciate that too. But have a happy scrappy week. Have fun on the May I Scrap Lift You. And pick somebody out. Scrap lift them. Bye.